so I will be I will be risking everything I cannot activate the ignition because I, I need a discard father for the get excited 3 is greater than 1 so let's go for the for the get excited and let us activate ignition for the get excited okay so that's a little bit close we fall short that's one man one more one more damage to kill the opponent so I could go for the verbal feet attack and I got I got Farley so he goes for the entombed now now this is GG because the opponent has no wild feast I am very sure that this deck does not run wild feast so very good high roll very close game we are destroyed three times, our board is white, but still, we managed to... Hello everyone, VTube Carlor here from Team Agronaut. Uh, today I will, be te I will be giving you the deck guide on one of the strongest, if not the strongest deck in the Legends of Frontera right now. And this is Phase twisted fate so in card games the the more cards you have in your hand is the better chance that you will be winning the game and twisted fate phase uh, does that because of the effect of twisted fate and its signature card pick a card so the for the first deck for the first part of the deck guide i will be telling you how to flip twisted fate easily so Twisted Fate's level up condition is drawing 8 cards. It sounds insane for a beginner but it is. it could be easily done by following these steps. So the first step is summoning Twisted Fate at turn 4. After that, pick blue card. Blue card here lets you draw 1 card. So that's 1 of 7. So after that, activate pick a card. Pick a card is pick a card effect is returning one of the cards in your hand and then on next turn you will be drawing three cards. So that's one plus four equals four of eight. So you have you just have to draw four more cards. And additional card is the normal draw during the beginning of the turn. So that's five of eight. So now you just have to draw three more cards to flip twisted fate how will you do that you have to activate rummage rummage effect is discarding two cards to draw two cards so you have seven out of eight cards now the the last card in the in the puzzle here is either either zap spray fin or if you have stress testing you discard you discard Stress testing in the effect of damage. Stress testing, if discarded, is draws you one more card. So that's eight out of eight. So that easily at turn five you can flip twisted fate. There are things that you need to consider before going to the all-in play of flipping TFPs. Number one is you have to look for the deck of the opponent. If the opponent has no has no counter or any reaction to kill Twisted Fate, you can easily do the combo. The other thing here is at turn at turn three, you have to be taking care of your mana. So you going to turn four, you have to at least two remaining mana in the spell mana, because if you have if you are short in mana, you cannot do the combo of flipping TFPs, flipping Twisted Fate because you will be short in mana so 2 mana 2 spell mana is enough because if you go for the blue card you will have additional 1 mana attune effect of the blue card so that's so that is how to flip the twisted fate okay so for the general gameplay of the of the deck for the beginning turns 
you have to pressure the opponent by attacking with elusive units and those are phase photo cannon and other elusive units also ballistic bot at the early game is very is very important because it could be a good blocker and it could also be a, a discard fodder that could help you replenish your hand cards so wiggly burble fish in the mid game is very important because wiggly burble fish plus iterative improvement can kill the opponent possibly from 20 to 0 so this is one of the best cards and one of the reason why this deck uh, fizz twisted fate is very strong because of wiggly burble fish and for a late game you will be transitioning to burn to burning the opponent and the cards that could burn the opponent is mystic shot and get excited so if the opponent if the opponent has no healing on their deck make sure that you are reserving your mystic shot and get excited into the opponent ne opponent's nexus because there is no way the opponent could possibly heal because of get excited and mystic shot but if you will be taking too much damage and you have to remove you have to remove the unit and then don't hesitate to use mystic shot on the unit to protect to, to protect your hp and there is just one mind meld in the deck because mind meld here is could become fleeting because technically you have five pick a cards in the deck so having too much mind meld could just be a fleeting mind meld and you can no longer use mind meld if it is fleeting unless you will be committing to stress testing which is just rare case additional information regarding wiggly burble fish is it gives you a it gives you one more card that is one mana in your region and the possible cards are stress testing ramage farley uh, mushroom clouds and counterfeit copies so mushroom clouds is also could be used to, to act you could also activate mushroom clouds because mushroom clouds in a mirror is very strong because uh, the opponent will have less cards and there is a high chance that the opponent could draw mushroom clouds parley there is no no more introduction to parley parley could also be an alternate mystic shot and get excited that could be used to the the opponent's nexus and the uh, suit up suit up is very flexible it could be used to protect twisted fate and it could also be used to to give it to fizz to give four damage every time fizz attacks if the opponent has no elusive units so those are the all the information that i could provide in playing fizz twisted fate please play, play the deck correctly and it you could single-handedly go from iron to master playing the deck because it is very strong and you have several days to have used this deck because for the coming patch i am pretty sure that twisted fate will be will be will be nerfed and you will see changes in the meta so for this current meta the best deck for climbing is twisted fate that is all for the deck see you again next time and enjoy the videos enjoy the gameplay that is embedded after the explanation please like share and subscribe so this is against the sander of Randall. so on paper we are unfavored with the matchup but playing this deck playing this correctly could give, could give us a uh, potential LP so for the mulligan having phase is very good because it it will be the earlier attacker for the for this uh, for this match okay so let's attack with phase so we deal two we chip two damage to the opponent. 
That's very good top deck. We need to slam this suit up to provide pressure to the opponent. He goes for the Lissandra play. Let's take this. Let's take two. And pressure him next turn. So, we could go for the suit up to make our Fizz elusive. And deal for damage to the opponent straight up. So the opponent is 14, 14 health, 14 health remaining. So he goes for the blighted, and we ju we'll just pass because if you drop the twisted fate there, it could easily die to the to the blighted. So we have to be thinking carefully how we will be using these three fleeting cards. So we have to reactivate pick a card so that we can still use the fleeting cards. And luckily we have enough mana. We have enough mana to go for the for the pick a card. So we will be trying to flip Twisted Fate here. So that is the that is one of the combo that I told you a while ago during the deck guide which is going for the pick a card and twisted fate. So luckily the opponent has no has no card that could kill my twisted fate so let's try to flip this twisted fate so far we have we have 10 cards in hand and we have 8 mana so let's go for the zap team to speed up our level up okay so we get the damage now we are very sure that we could flip this twisted fate we are just looking for how the opponent will respond to us wow he passed let us Let's go for the for the damage and the twisted fate level up and discard mind meld and mystic chat. Looks like I'm on a hot street. So we successfully flip twisted fate here. And we have to pass to check what what are the possible cards of the opponent. So he goes for the avalanche. We could protect our zap spray fin because we have additional phase in our hand. So let's go for this play and get a blue card. the serpent so we will draw a card and we will have two more units remaining on board and take note guys that this is our attack token so let's go for the fees and let's activate the the photo cannon discarding one of the ballistic bots so please use and 
one of his units is destroyed by the effect of gold card. So the opponent is hovering something. Let us go for the play until he activates that card that he's hovering. Even if even if our unit will be destroyed, we have we have more cards to redevelop the board and to take over the board. Okay, so let's check. So we are representing Lethal here. It's it could be the box that could kill everything. Okay, so he goes for the box. That's a very good value for us, but for hi for him, I mean. But we can redevelop units because we have more cards than him. Okay, so uh, one more play that we have to consider there is going for the iterative for one of the verbal fish because. We have to save save units that could be that could be used for the redevelopment. So I go for the iterative there because I don't have any other verbal tip on my hand. So I created one. So I go I draw for the ramage. Let's try to activate everything from blue card to, to yellow card. So the opponent is still not using his mana. Let's kill his Lissandra. Okay, so Lissandra dead. Now we can just pass. Or we could go for one more verbal fish. Play. Okay, so he goes for the avalanche. Another board wipe. That's very bad for us. But we have more. Still, we still have more cards on our hand. And we have cards that could draw us more cards. So this is a very good showcase on how insane the deck is because even after after being board wiped by the opponent, we still have enough cards to pressure the opponent from using his resources. While we we are not Losing any resources. Now, where was I? Now I get I get another twisted fate and verbal fish. I am trying to reactivate the combo of got got suta. Trying to reactivate the combo of red card to blue card to yellow card because that's very good and also it is our attack token so we have to develop we have to pressure him by giving by summoning cards that could potentially kill him so so far we are representing lethal here this is this is seven damage seven elusive damage and potentially two more damage if one of the attackers connects. Let's go for the elusive attack. We are representing Lethal that he doesn't know 
or he doesn't have an idea because we have get excited in hand that's fine that's fine we're still not we are still ahead in terms of cards so the only thing that could kill us is the watcher if he could just successfully summons the watcher but we could go for the suit up to threaten for more damage to the opponent that could potentially be in range with our bur burn cards okay so ideally the opponent could die with uh, double get excited in in our hand okay so we have lethal disregarding healing on hand we have lethal so if the opponent can go for the watcher here we lose the game depending if the opponent has healing but if he will not do anything for now we could threaten him to going we could threaten the nexus health of the opponent by going for the get excited until he goes for the blighted ravine so we could still kill him with get excited double get excited one mystic shot I will be going for the iterative so that I will have another copy of a verbal fish that could be used for attack next turn. And I will also drop the ballistic bot because this ballistic bot could give me ignition and ignition is one damage which is, which is very very strong for us. So we got rummage. We have double me, me, we, go, we have double get excited and one ignition. We could try to rummage our hand to look for a mystic shot. So I'm checking the cards in the po in the deck in my deck and I'm looking if I could still draw potentially mystic shot. I discarded the pick a card because I am too deep to activate pick a card. So we have lethal on our hand. We have mystic shot, mystic shot, get excited, and we have enough mana to go for this play. So I will be. I will be risking everything. I cannot activate the ignition because I, I need a discard father for the get excited. And 3 is greater than 1. So let's go for the for the get excited and let us activate ignition for the get excited. Okay, so that's a little bit close. We fall short. That's one man one more one more damage to kill the opponent. I could go for the verbal fish attack and I got I got Farley so he goes for the entomb now now this is GG because the opponent has no wild fish I am very sure that this deck does not run wild fish so very good high roll very close game we are destroyed three times our board is white but still we managed to get this one so that's gg so 
game too. Same deck. This deck is very hard for a Fizz Twisted Fate to beat, but if you play this correctly, you can still defeat this deck. I'm looking for Fizz and other units that could that could damage the opponent in early game. So we got the suit up. So we have two twisted fate. We could potentially go for the flip twisted fate at turn four play. Because if we summon the first twisted fate, the other twisted fate will become pick a card. And pick a card could increase our chance to leveling up the twisted fate as fast as we can. So let's go for the Twisted Fate here because we don't have any other play. Even if the opponent goes for Avalanche or anything that could kill Twisted Fate, we have we are we are ahead on value because we draw one more card and the opponent spend the mana to kill our card and also spend the card. So he goes for the Blighted. I will just attack and then let my Twisted Fate die for now, that's fine, goes for the pass, drop up this Ballistic Bot, because we don't have any other play and Ignition is very key in this in this one. Ignition also is could be used for uh, Ignition Pass. Where in if we go for the ignition, guys, uh, the priority of playing the card first will be transferred to the opponent. So ignition pass is one of the high level plays that Twisted Fate Fizz are using because uh, by doing ignition pass, the opponent will be forced to play first, and we will be on the reactive side. And being reactive in Legends of Runtari, Runtera is very good because we can counter any play that the opponent does first. Okay, so the opponent is just passing. I could go for the for the zap for additional card. We get the damage. We got the stress testing then we can attack with two damage here okay another blighted that's okay because uh, Zap's Prefin will die, but in terms of value, we are ahead because Zap's Prefin is re replaced by a card. Now I, I can go for for the block to the Trundle because we are low on HP. I could still go for the Twisted Fate because I have two more Twisted Fate. Never lost a In terms of value, US the we are winning against, the, uh, against this opponent because every time he kills our unit, we are replacing it with the card. Now I can potentially go for the twist for the Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate, pick a card, 
because I have suit up to protect my twisted fate. So go for the pick a card here, return the return the suit up. The bigger suit up. Okay, so so we can go for the suit up play to increase the the HP of our twisted fate. Now we ha he has to commit an avalanche to to kill my twisted fate, which is unfavored for him because two of his units will die. Okay, so I have to get excited and my twisted fate is on board and is still alive. Let's go for the zap and okay. So potentially we can still flip twisted fate because we have we have stress testing in hand and we have cards that could that could trigger the effect of stress testing we have 3 get excited and photo cannon 2 photo cannons that could that could help in going for the for the flipping of the twisted fate so let's go let's draw one card that's very high that's very good top deck getting a verbal fish is very good here and we have zero cost cards that could decrease the the cost of verbal fish so we are threatening lethal in this turn if the opponent has no answer such as the box avalanche or yeah, anything we could go for the lethal here so that's the first step going for the get excited stress testing so he goes for the fading memory could go for the Photo cannon with photo cannon with stress testing. So now we flip this in face. Looks like I'm on a hot street. With blue card. Blue as the serpent. Wow. So we burn the card, but that's fine. Let us go for the for the blue card, red card, yellow card combo. That's the first one. Go for the red card. And then let's go for the for the stun here. We have to shoot this mystic shot right now because it is splitting and two damage for the opponent is very 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 helpful in closing out games. So we deal two. Okay, so now we just have to deal ten more damage. Let's go for the verbal fish. And let's attack. So this is this this is okay for now because we have get excited in hand. If the opponent activates something, still we have the combo of killing him on the next turn. I shard flash freeze and 
This is potentially an eye shard. Eye shard. That's okay because he also killed his own unit. He killed his. He killed his Trondel, and that's very good for us because we are now, we are now at nine. 9 HP and an attack with Trander is very dangerous. That could help. That could lead for a, for our own death. So we are even. Both of us are at 9 mana, but the difference is on board. I have a flip twisted trick. So he goes for the spectral matron. I need to develop a fearsome blocker, and that is his. And we go for the blue card. So we can we can kill one of his spectral matron or we can stun. We can stun it, I mean. And probably the one that will be stunned is the one that is not ephemeral. Because that is the one that is stronger. So we have to block this because we are dangerous dangerously low on on mana. Then we can go for the get excited to trigger the effect of trigger the effect of yellow card so exactly as i predicted the one that will be stunned is the one that is not ephemeral our twisted fate will will die but we have iterative improvement and wiggly burble fish to go for the Wide elusive board next time. So let's drop this verbal fish. Let's see what we can get. So we got a damage. Another one. Another verbal fish. We got the shakedown. Okay, so. So stress testing. So now we can swing with everything, and we could preemptively activate the damage to to make our twisted fate uh, to make our fizz elusive. So this is worth in damage. Let's see what he can do. Goes for the flash freeze, and another flash freeze, and I shard. So we could kill him by activating suit up. Activating suit up to any of the units. I am pretty sure that he doesn't have any other flash this we he already used that. Okay, so that is a very good showcase on how strong Fizz DF deck is. Please like, share and subscribe for more VTuber Master Deck guidelines.